Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and we are back with our NHL 15 BA Pro series following Rick DiPietro and the New York Islanders. So without uh, me talking, I can just simulate and talk to you guys. So last episode, uh, yeah, if you, uh, if you choked on that episode, you're not the only one who choked. Rick DiPietro choked like a child choking on a Lego. That's probably put a really disturbing image into your head now, but... Yeah, we had a 4-2 lead against uh, against the Tampa Bay Lightning. And, you know, we completely fell apart in the third period yet again. Uh, we do get that win against Pittsburgh, though, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, we kind of just fell apart there. So, superstar computer difficulty playing as a 70 overall goalie, it's 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 really it's really difficult. Uh, honestly, you guys should do try out, be a pro for yourself, and try out superstar on goal. Go, superstar goaltending against superstar computers. It is really difficult. Um, coming from a guy who doesn't play goalie all that much, I find it extremely, extremely difficult. So the Islanders, after losing that game in overtime to the Tampa Bay Lightning, came back and won both of those games against the Pittsburgh Penguins at a home and home. And uh, so we take on the Flyers here now on November 24th. Are we? No, we're not starting this game either. Okay, cool. So it looks like we're probably going to get. The wa one of the Washington Capitals games, and we won that game as well. Yeah, maybe I I would consider uh, not even playing me, Coach. Let uh freaking Halak keep playing in that. The guy's doing amazing right now. Uh, yeah, let him in there. The Islanders are winning games with Halak in that. Maybe if they lose one, they'll put me in. But they're winning games right now. They're on a winning streak. So as for yeah, there they go. They won another one. Jesus Christ, they went on a uh, three or four four game winning streak, I believe. Yeah, they went on a four game winning streak. So. Uh, so for the tips for this episode, if we actually do get to play a game here, uh, yeah, we're going to get the other end of the home and home against the Washington Capitals. So, uh, the tips for this, uh, this game were to once again, continue to try to bring yourself out of the crease. Apparently I'm standing a little bit too much into my crease and I need to start venturing out more near where the blue paint is, where the blue paint paint actually starts in the crease. So, uh, move out more, face the shots, and actually cut down those angles as well. But, you know, I can't rely on my computer defense to do everything for me. And besides, like, I'm really trying my best when it comes to, like, stopping cross creasers and trying to just pin myself again in the right position. It's really, really tough with a 70 overall goalie due to the fact that, you know, his speed is not really all the greatest. So... I mean, we're still going to try our very best here, but hopefully this should be another fun game here against Washington. Going up against Alexander the Great Ovechkin in the Verizon Center in Washington, D.C. The Islanders are actually heating up. They've gone on a four-game winning streak. Looking forward to a high-scoring contest tonight. Well, at least maybe for one team, Doc, because one team certainly has the ability to fill the net as well as any team in the entire league. The Capitals coaching staff has them playing a fast-paced, straight-ahead offensive brand of hockey. In Who's order in to net for them? Way, Who the hell was that starting in net? With the puck before you get it. Who the hell they have in net for the Caps? Really now interested to see that. Justin Peters. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot they brought they uh, picked him up. He had a really good record. And Rick DiPietro will start for us. So 0-2-2, 4.15, 0 0.763 save percentage. All right, come on. This is the day Rick DiPietro is going to get that win. He's going to get that win. Islanders are very, very hot in front of him right now. So hopefully we can continue on this four-game winning streak. All right, so John Tavares is going to take this puck right to Conacher. Nice deke in front and a low shot there, but a big save there by Peters. Peters, he's uh, Flopfish's favorite goaltender in Hutt. Justin Peters. All right, uh, Poso right in front to Conacher. Low shot, rebound, and another couple big saves there from Justin Peters early on. And it's time for Ray Ferraro. Last time Washington is 6-4, and four, so they're not doing too bad. All right, big win there for Joel Ward and Matt Niskanen. Over to Jason Chimera. Over to Niskanen again, over to Troy Brower. All right, here comes Brower. Cutting back in, trying to go for a cross crease. Cut off, though, by Hamnick, and that was a good play there. Pozo up to Tavares, and Conacher went off sides. All right, so we get the second line out there. Let's go Garbo. Ah, Garoski didn't win it. Right. Dmitry Orlov over to Brooks Lake. 
Looks like back to Orpik and over to Devin Setaguchi. Now part of the uh, Washington Capitals. Another good play there from my defense. Nice play by Dahan. Kuhlman takes this up. Toe drag. Cuts back. Grabner. Ooh, low shot. Tried for a five-hole shot on Justin Peters with a big save there. All right, Tyler Kennedy. Back over to Devin Setaguchi. And, oh, bouncing puck. And that's goaltender interference. Damn right, ref. Thank you very much. And, oh, God, somebody actually stepped up for a fight. Brooks Lake and Travis Hamannick are going to step up for a fight. They didn't like the fact that they ran me over. All right, I'll get out of here. Uh, hey, Peters, what are you doing down there? Uh, what the hell? What the heck? Pfft, look at the players the way I hit them. Hey, Dahan, what's going on, bud? <laughs> hey, Dahan, <laughs> you want to go in the corner? Yeah, nobody puts Dahan in the corner. Hey there, bud, how's it going? <laughs> hey, Brooks, how's it going? Look at his stick, the way his stick moves. Yeah, screw you, Kenny. Running me in the, running into me, you asshole. Oh my God! If I forget to, somebody write in the comments section. Uh, remember to turn notifications off next time for next episode because I will forget to do it again. I'm gonna keep forgetting to do it every single episode. I'm gonna try not to, but if you guys put it in the comments section. I'll probably read it and I'll probably stay static in my mind. But all right, so we, uh, Kennedy ran me. And uh, they did end up putting the goal in, but that was a uh, goaltender interference, no doubt. All right, so let's see the New York Islanders power play go to work here. Low shot there on Akposo. Oh, he's hurt. I should have, somebody should have stepped up for him. I should have uh, made them step up. All right, Osner is going to dip this down low. Let the defenseman get a let Viz grab it. Viz over to Kuhlman. Back to Brennan. Brennan, get this over. There you go. Over to Kabofsky. Take it in. Take it in Mikhail, toe drag, back to Vishnovsky, and try to go for a slap shot. Alsner's dump this in, and I couldn't get it because I'm too slow, obviously. Tavares back over to Brennan, and up to Kuhlman, over to Grabowski. Toe drag again, but cuts back to the middle. Feeds it for a defenseman for Brennan, back to the other. Vishnovsky low, or slap shot in that. Tavares tried to go for a tip. Uh, there you go, Giant T gets it back, though. Giant T up, feeds it for Grabowski, and I'm going to cut this one off. There you go, Vishnovsky. Give that to him. Vishnovsky up to Grabowski. Power play is over, but we got a nice, still a little rush here. Grabowski, back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman, looking for somebody. Dish it down low. There you go to Devarez. Walk out in front. Ooh, nice shot there, but a big save there by Peters. Grabowski, back over to Grabowski. Ooh, right in front of the giant T. I'm watching Peters too. I really should watch the computer goalies more and how they actually uh, do some plays. It might actually help me learn. All right, so Brennan takes this puck. Uh, Brennan, get this out. Chimera over to Joel Ward. Oh, five hole. I felt like I was in position for that. That one's just bad luck. That one is just bad luck. Chimera's stick was in a ready position to accept that puck and put it in as a one-timer. And so good air time on this pass. Flat when it lands and the shooter has a walk-in. Yeah. I kind of expected him to take a higher shot, I guess. And he shot it low. That was a good play, but that's a good goal there from Chimera. So nothing I could do about that. That's a good play. That was a nice pass by Niskanen who saw him. All right, so get up the give up the early goal here, even though I feel like the Islanders have been outplaying the Capitals so far. All right, Conacher cuts back in front. Oh, man, tried to feed it to Hamannick. I think uh, Conacher actually could have taken that himself and scored with a backhand. But All right, Tavares, and okay, that's a weird dump and play, but it works. And, oh, God, Conacher got killed by Orpik. So Akposo is back out there again, so he is fine. All right, Eric Fair. Toe drag by Fair. Come out and face the play. There you go. Stay out on the top of your crease. There you go. And Nielsen gets this out over to Akpozo. Akpozo will dump it in. Orlov taken to the boards. And Penner gets this over to Tom Wilson. All right, they got their fourth line out. Back over to Orlov. All right, Dimitri Orlov. And that's going to go offsides. All right, come on. Franz Nielsen, baby. Let's get the faceoff win. Washington's collected another victory on Kennedy the face over to Brooks Lake. To Drop pass to Kennedy. To Back to Brooks Lake again. Oh, that's good. 
yeah. Trying to get back over there. That was a good save by DiPietro. Got a little bit out of position, but, you know, he's recovered for it. Defense bailed me out that time. That should be hybrid icing. Yep. Let me check out the uh, breakouts here. Those are the breakout plays. That's four check is left and right. Where's the defensive uh, adjustments at? I don't think I could take, I don't think I could, yeah, I don't think I can, uh, I don't think I could change the uh, defensive strategies. Like looked like shit. Like looked like you guys ass kicked. All right, Clutterbuck. Got this third line out there. I know how, they, I love this third line. All right, Kennedy. Kennedy, back pass to Brooks Lake, and nice little blocker on the five hole save there from DiPietro. He'll get this out, and that'll be it for the first period. So the Capitals do get one past DiPietro in this period. Still fairly played pretty solid, I would say. So uh, four shots only faced, six shots for the Islanders. I think the Islanders played a pretty good period. So they just gotta keep up this intent, keep up the intensity, and something will come. They don't have Holpe in that. It is only Justin Peters. All right, Hamannik, you gotta get this out. There you go. Over to Tavares. And he takes it through center ice. All right, Tavares takes it into the zone. Gets run into by Carlson. John Carlson, and there's Ovechkin. I was, I was gonna say, I haven't seen Ovechkin touch the puck at all in this game. Backstrom, that was a good play there from uh, Dehan. Puck check that out. Good pass over to Akpozo. Kyle Pozo, nothing doing there. All right, Johansson, or Johansson, whatever. Here's Ovi. Here is Alexander Ovechkin. Oh. All right, that was a little bit scary. That was a little bit unnece unnecessary play, but all right, we're fine. Devarez back to Akposo. Toe drag gets taken off the puck, though, by Carlson. Back to Backstrom. Uh, where's the puck at? Green has it. Uh, Conacher steals it. Up, oh, tried to go low. Ovechkin versus Hamnick. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll get Ovi off the ice. So it's a power play for us. Okay, so there's a power play on the thing. Come on, Hamnick, don't let Ovi kick your ass. I'll t I've only made Hamnick take this fight so we can get Ovechkin off the ice for five minutes. I'll take that any day of the week. All right, come on, Hamnick, don't lose to freaking Ovechkin. Don't. Oh my God, you're gonna lose to Ovechkin, aren't you? Oh, my God. Ovi just uppercut your ass. You should feel ashamed, Travis Hamnick. You just got your ass kicked by Alexander Ovechkin. Uh, that's how I feel about that Islander fan right now. I would be covering my face, but... Oh, God, Grabowski sold that like a... <laughs> he sold that better than John Cena. Well, I should say, he sold that like John Cena. He got up right after that. All right, but the Islanders do have a power play here off of the uh, sell by Mikhail Grabowski. All right, let's cut that off. Oh, bouncing puck. Oh, jeez. I don't know what the hell DPH was doing there. That was weird. And offsides. Okay. All right, let's press them a bit. Let's get a little bit aggressive. Quick breakouts. Close support. Uh, leave the zone early. Power play breakout. Uh, carry option. All right. Vishnatsky up out in front. Michael Grabner with an insane backhand shovel shot into the far corner. Nice step up there by Lubavir Vishnatsky to feed him that puck. And the Islanders on the power play will tie it. There we go from Franz Nielsen, Lubavir Vishnatsky, Michael Grabner with the goal. So a nice little press up there from Vishnovsky. A saucer pass right in front to Grabner. Nobody covering him. See, man, even even these computer goaltenders have a hard time covering the uh, covering the cross creases because there's no defense blocking them out. Peters, goalies can't say, save everything. And that's kind of what I have on my cross creases sometimes. It's that's how it is. It's like you're almost barely there, but sometimes you just don't get there in time. All right. So we got one-to-one -one tie. Nice job by the Islanders once again to tie it up, but we've seen this tale all too many times before. Just need to keep it. Hopefully they'll keep up the pressure here. So John Tavares. Oh, no. Oh, baby. Johnny T. Low shot. Rebound. Conacher. Ooh, big save there by Justin Peters. All right. Uh, they're going to press wide here with the Capitals. Cutting in. Brower back to Chimera. 
And Conacher with a solid back check again. And they will clear it out. John Tavares once again back to Conacher. Uh, back to the point. Slap shot by DeHaan, I believe. And Green will get that out to Chimera. Over to Brower. And Brower's going to dump this one in. All right, Grabner will take it. Uh, Grabner, don't lose that puck there, Jesus, please. Thank you. All right, Tavares up again. Long shift for Johnny T. Uh, Johnny T, just a backhand shovel shot. Easy save for Peters. All right, they got the fourth line out for the Capitals. Mike Green over to Chimera again. Chimera's been out there for a while. DeHaan. Okay, flying poke check, flying poke check. Oh, fancy-ass mofo over here. Freaking Troy Brower going for a spin move. What do you think this is? Ah, buddy, rule change. It's not in shootouts anymore. All right, that's why That's why it didn't help to... Uh, also the back check on that player too. I don't know who who was the back check on it, but that was a good save. I probably would have got my uh, my ass handed to me. All right, Ward's gonna dump this around. Uh, fair. Ah, oh, oh, wow! I actually got a piece of that. I anticipated that a little bit too much. I thought he was gonna take the pass there, but I just got back in time to get a nice little save. Jack Skilly with a low hand, low uh, bleh, low shot there. Niskanen over to Colby. Is that Colby Armstrong? And Armstrong is going to go off sides. That's the only Armstrong I know, Colby Armstrong. Interesting. All right, so 7 to 4 on the faceoffs. Capitals are definitely owning us in the faceoff circle. All right, they're going to dump it in. Having to get that out. Got oh, shit. All right, Orpik. Back over to Johansson. Look for the pass in front. Never expect the shot from the from the corner side. They're always going to try to pass it in front. Nice job, Hamannick. Get that out. Over to Zizekas. All right, Casey Zizekas back in the lineup again, I I suppose. Uh, Hamannick. Oh, oh, Bolton. Ooh, Bolton. No, fourth line. Don't oh, keep pressing there. Justin Peters is going to hold that. Whew. Whenever that puck gets driven to the, gets driven to like crash the net kind of style when my fourth line is out there. Friggin' Eric Bolton and Matt Martin and Casey Zizekas are friggin' in intense. Bolton and Martin, they're two big guys. They're friggin' chippy-ass grinders. They're pushing the net there. That was some good saves by Peters, though. Peters with 12 saves on the night. Uh, 11 seconds still left here in the first period. DeHaan feeds in front. Oh, feed, oh way, way too many. Uh, maybe a pass too much. And we're going to get out of the second period... Allowing nothing, it is still a one-to-one -one game here. It is a pretty, pretty even game. Uh, Islanders are definitely challenging Peters. The cap, our defense is playing well this game. We're only only allowed five shots on net for the Capitals. So our defense is doing a good job in net, in uh, playing today. Only allowing the Caps to five shots in two periods. So we're playing solid, I guess. But we still need. Oh Jesus, man! Ovi got killed. All right, Dahan, you need to get that out. There you go to Hamnick over to Conacher. There you go. Good job. Defense is getting the puck out early, which is good. Uh, bouncing puck, Mike Green. John Tavares on him. John Carlson over to Backstrom. All right, Nicholas Backstrom. And offsides again. Man, the Capitals. They can't seem to si solve that New York Islanders defense. They're playing pretty well today. All right, we need a big face-off win here. There you go, Johnny T. Good win. All right, get that over to Ocpozo. There you go. And I can see him dumping it in. No, I tried to feed it back. Brower's going to take it around. Back of the net, over to Joel Ward, and uh, nice fork, nice uh, little pinch there from DeHaan to maybe get a turnover there, and they are going to get a turnover. Nicely done, boys. Hamnick pushes back into the zone. Nice little hold on the puck there. Oh, tried to sauce it in front again. Oh, Johnny T a little bit of forechecking check there. And they're going to go over to Brower. Brower taking a slap shot from the, uh, from the point. I haven't had anybody take a slap shot from the point in a while. But nice play there from Dahan to get the puck out again. He, I believe he's going to go for a line change. Tavares trying to feed something out in front, and nothing there. And here comes Ovechkin. Here comes Alexander Ovechkin, and another good play by Travis Havnick. This Islanders defense is on point right now. Conacher, toe drag, gets around Mike Green. Feeds in front to Ocpozo with a nice little barely gets a piece of it for it was Justin Peters. And that's going to go uh, all the back. Uh, is that a delay penalty on us or them? Uh... I probably could have went to the net, but the bench, but that's fine. And uh, interference on number 74. Who was that? That is uh, John Carlson, I think. Yep, John Carlson with a interference call. Who just a little nudge there on Corey Conacher, and they're going to call it. John Carlson gets called for the interference, and the New York Islanders will have a power play. 
With 11.08 left. All right, come on, boys. Capitalize on this here. All right. Uh, ooh, nice grab there, Viz. Viz ate his Wheaties this morning. He's got the hops. All right. Uh, cool, man. Get that out. There you go. Franz Nielsen taking the puck into the zone. Franz Nielsen uh, tried to set it up for a defenseman, but Viz pinched a little bit too much. Nice pass, though, over to Grabner, and they're going to go offside. And play stop because of an offside. All right, come on, boys. we got a nice chance here to capitalize on this power play here. Orpik over to Johansson, who's going to try to clear it in, but Hamnick with another nice little forecheck there. Keeps the puck down low, and uh, ooh, that was – oh, there you go. Franz Nielsen laying in front. Oh, Franz – oh, man. Nikolai Kuhlman almost had that. That was a nice play there by Franz Nielsen. All right, uh, Vishnowski tried to knock that down. Johansson's going to dump it in. Brennan, get that out. Kuhlman, and there you go. All right. So Franz Nielsen takes it into the zone again. Nice little little stride deeks there, but and tried to dump it out again. They can't get it over to the Islanders defenders here. Hamnick takes it in himself, looking for something. Uh, he's gonna dish it down low. I'm fine with that. Niskin in. Nice four check. Nielsen tried to go five hole. Another big save there by Peters. Grabner's gonna take it now. Grabner looking for something. And shot by Kuhlman off the outside of the post. And that'll do it for the power play. All right, so the Capitals will kill it off. John Carlson over to Kennedy. Kennedy's going to dump this one in. Get it out again. Oh, bouncing puck. Don't like this. Nice. There you go. See, come out and challenge them like that. They can't. They don't have. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Take it. Ovechkin, what are you doing, man? Ovi just literally ran the hell into me. Take him out, Ocpozo. Kick his ass. Ovi literally just out of nowhere storing my ass. Ovi has a vendetta against me today. This is the second fight Ovechkin's is, oh, my God, his arm, like, broke. I think Akposo put, like, a Kimura lock on him. Jesus H. Christ. But there you go, Akposo. Thank you for kicking his ass. Ovi just, he, <laughs> that was totally uncalled for. This was totally uncalled for. Look at this. Boosh! What the hell's wrong with him? See, this is why DiPietro's career got ended, because of careless acts like this, just running into Rick DiPietro, giving him concussions, giving him leg injuries. How was there no penalty on that? I don't know how there wasn't a penalty. Why are you crying? Oposa kicked Ovi's ass. Oh, man. All right, well, thank you to Kyle Oposa for stepping up and taking out Ovechkin for pretty much the rest of this game now. All right, so Conacher, now we can don't have to deal with Ovi again. All right, so Brower's going to take this back to Chim uh, Chimera. Over to Joel Ward. Joel Ward is going to dump it around. And get that out, Chimera. Nice little playoff DPH. Oh, he grabs it out of midair. There you go. Dish it over to Hamnick. Back over to Tavares, and he missed the play there. It's going to be icing. That was a weird bouncing puck. Did make the save, though. Once again, I have to challenge those guys when they're coming out of the net. I have to press up a little bit so I can cut down their angle. The only way they're going to get beat me is if they have to go all the way around me and extend it, extend their hands, like extend their stick all the way around me. So I'm not going to let that happen anymore. All right, Kuhlman uh, tries to dump it in. It's hit by Mike Green. Take it to the boards, though. And they get it out to over the like. All right, Brooks Lake. Oh, nice move there. Ooh. Oh, my God. That's just a, that's such bad luck. That is such bad luck. You have no idea how unlucky that is. That's just so lucky by Backstrom. Like with a nice play. Oh, oh, my God. That's really, that's just really bad. Oh, man, I did the manual poke check, too. That's just really unlucky. I think it ramped up one of the sticks, hit Backstrom in the shin, and then he still had control of it. Ugh, I feel like we were playing really, really well this game, too. Peters played. Peters has been playing really, really well this entire game. I don't think we haven't faced that many shots, but you know what? Like, once again, Backstrom out in front to Johansson. Carlson, wide the net. Oh, my God, again. See? And then times when it's, it's, it's just so hard to guard them. It's so hard to defend them. They're the worst things to defend. They're the worst kind of goals to prevent. 
See, then that one time I go off the post, he shoots it short side. It's it's really really difficult, guys. I don't know I don't know what you could I don't know what to tell you. It's extremely extremely difficult to play goaltender on superstar difficulty against this new AI. It's very very difficult. Well, we got 40 seconds left. I feel like we've had a pretty good game, but then you know it just kind of blew up once that Backstrom goal went in. I don't think we could have recovered after that, to be perfectly honest. Alright, Carlson's going to take this. What the hell's wrong with DPHO? Oh, they want me to go to the net, so I can't play. That's so weird. You guys see that? Like, they want me to go to the bench, but because of it, I can't play goaltender. Alright, well. Empty net. Empty net is out. And they're trying to forecheck. Uh, turns it over, Conker, Nielsen, Martin, up, oh, Ocpozo, big save by Peters. And that'll be it. So, that one unlucky play by Nicholas Backstrom, and once again, that stupid-ass wraparound play. I feel like we played a better game this time around. At least early on we did. I mean, I, I think we might have a concussion now. Because of Alexander, we got ran twice this game, so... I don't know. I feel like we played a better game. We didn't get that many shots on us yet. Nine shots on us in the entire game. So that was a pretty shitty save percentage. But, you know, what are we going to do? So the four-game win streak for the New York Islanders does come to an end against the Washington Capitals. So um, maybe next time we'll have enough. Maybe I'll do I, if I have enough time. Yeah, it's not even half an hour yet. Usually these episodes are around half an hour. So... Uh, maybe I'll check out the stats for the season so far, how everybody's doing. And uh, once again, still not many uh, growth points to add up here. So 7, 11, and 5. Uh, let's check out the stats central for... Can I view the entire team? Yeah, I can view the entire team. Player, player stats. See how everybody's doing so far. How many games we played. So we have 23 games played with uh, 24 points for John Tavares. He's above a point a game player. He has 17 goals. That's pretty actually insane. Uh, Pozo has 19 points. Franz Nielsen has 17. Dahan with 12. Koniker 9. Gerbowski 9. Clutterbuck 8. Grabner 8. Vishnovsky 8. Hamannick, Kuhlman, Bolton, Skillies, Zizekas has played 5 games. Uh, Brennan. Yeah, it was TJ Brennan. I was right about that. Uh, Karkner, he's been out for a little bit. Well, he missed that last game. And, uh, yeah, that's how we're looking. That's how we're looking. And then goaltending. Goaltending. How is the, uh, how's Halak playing for the Islanders? Uh, Halak is 7, 8, and 3 with a 2.46. And Rick DiPietro is obviously 0 and 3 with a 0.75. So, obviously... Ignore Rick DiPietro being a 18-year-old. Uh, it couldn't. It doesn't let you change the year and be a pro, which sucks. But whatever. So uh, that's how the stats are looking so far. 7-11-5. Obviously, we need to keep winning games here. Hopefully, Halak can go on another pretty good winning streak. Um, maybe we'll check next time if we have enough player growth points. Maybe we can upgrade a stat here or two. If I can upgrade my speed in any way whatsoever, I definitely will do that. But we'll keep simulating games here as we continue through this season with the New York Islanders and Rick DiPietro. So thanks, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys next time.